Hello everyone. So welcome to the very late <laughs> December Happy Mail haul. I addressed this on social media. I went to film this about a week ago, still late, um, and was just extremely overwhelmed and emotional. <laughs> there were some very personal letters in these and just some very thoughtful things. I, the letters, I read everything everyone sends me. I cannot respond to everything, let alone just the cards and everything. Like when I started the Happy Mail haul, it was just so requested for everyone. Like so many people wanted somewhere they could send their cards and really liked the idea of me showing them on YouTube to all of you, which I still love doing. And then over time I've been getting, yeah, just really heartfelt personal messages and letters and all that. And I do, I just wanted to address them. I do read them and I think about you guys and I, you know, put out good, good vibes, good energy, good thoughts out to you. And I do wish I could respond to them. I just, yeah, even filming these videos takes a lot of my time, but I love doing it because I love sharing what you guys create. It's just so thoughtful. And the gifts as always are not necessary. Like, I'm just doing this to share what you guys are making and I don't need any gifts or anything like that, but I do appreciate it a lot. And yeah, a couple of them just really got to me this time. <laughs> so now that I'm not as ridiculously emotional, hopefully I can film this without, you know, blubbering all over myself. So um, I got this great package from Evelyn. This actually showed up about a week ago, um, but I'm including it because it was sent and it was meant for December. So she's done ones like this before, those that watch my Happy Mails regularly. Um, she did those adorable pen penguin boxes last year. So this year it was snowmen, all personalized. And it, you got me, Evelyn. I, it was really sweet because she personalized them and I noticed she included extras. So there was one for me and each of my kids. And then there was one for Chris and then a blank one because she didn't know Chris's son's name. His name is Damien. Um, I don't push them into my social media a whole lot. Um, Chris and I have been seeing each other for some time and his son is wonderful and gets along great with my kids, etc. I just don't like shoving people and especially his child into, you know, the craziness that is my online persona. But I just, thank you. I showed him a picture of these. He says thank you. He was very touched. It was very sweet to think of them. So I'm definitely going to give these to them. Obviously, they're awesome. And yeah, my other children have seen these like sitting in the box and kind of like, oh, what, what is this? <laughs> so that's another reason I need to get this filmed because they know that it's for them. So these boxes are adorable. It's all like textured cardstock and yeah, like personalized and they're just so cute. And I already knew what was inside because you do this. Ah, <sighs> coffee, milk, chocolate. Oh, I, oh, you have no idea. It's so hard. I want to like <laughs> dump all of these out and just keep them. <laughs> Uh, even last time I actually, like I set aside the actual chocolate and then just dole it out. Like I'm not going to hand my two year old a, you know, huge bar of chocolate, but they just, they will love this. So thank you, Evelyn. It was very, very thoughtful. And just to even go that extra mile to send the two for Chris and Damien was very sweet, very sweet. So thank you. And these are awesome. I love your, how you were able to create these creations. So there's that, and then, of course, a gorgeous card. I like the embossing on it. It's just pretty. So I think if this one came in this envelope, I've kind of now made a mess of everything, but thank you. So we have that awesomeness. And then um, another great one is this showed up from Sherry. And I'm, I can't, I just kind of sat here and was like the amount of work that went into this. So those have been, that have been around in like the stamping world for quite a few years will remember these. Um, these made a huge splash and like everyone was doing them. I never did make them. It's, a, you take a CD case, which I think is probably getting harder and harder to come by, but you know, regular CD case and you can flip it like so. So that's going to sit on your desk or wherever. 
And then she did personalized calendar pages for every month of 2018. These are just awesome. And they would sit just like so. Like, thank you. This, this is, I'm so blown away. These are so adorable. And yeah, so we've got January and February and March, April, May. That's beautiful. June, this is adorable. That's Lawn Fawn. <laughs> July. Then oh. we have August, September. Got some coffee going. Oh, those are pretty. October, fun. November and December. These are great. So thank you so much. This was a, a lot of work, a lot of work and effort. So thank you. So we've got that. And then we have this gorgeous card by Brenda Kay. Um, I love this watercolor. I love the color in this. Like, I hope, Brenda, that you will post in the comments what you used for this background. And I just, I am blown away by, by the amount of color and the fact that it's not muddy. Because usually when you get into using this much color on a background, it just, you know, likes to do its thing and go muddy. And I'm like, oh, interesting. So I love it. I'm thinking kind of distressing, but I'm not positive. So very, very pretty. So thank you that one and then this one from Santa in Finland really cute I like the stenciled background I know this is a cute little MFT elf image and the splatters like really fun really cute so got that and then this one from Lorraine with these cute little this cute little hedgehog and I just like this image <laughs> Little hedgehog snowman with all those little sticks stuck in him. I think that's the cutest little thing ever. So, really fun. Snow buddies are the best. That one. And then this one from Linda G. I think this is, I, so many of you have used this image. I think this is from the ton. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that's who that is from. So, really pretty. Love the sparkly shimmer. And then this one from Michelle. I think this is so cute. It took me half a second. I was like, you want this big, big red blob. And then I realized it's Rudolph's nose. Brilliant, completely brilliant. I love it. I think that is just the cutest thing ever, you know, without actually having a critter, just having the antlers and the sentiment and well done. I love it. I love this card. I think it's great. So really cute, really cute. So got that. And Michelle actually included, like I said, it's unnecessary, but these fabulous, this fabulous gift, you know, she said there were purchases that she ended up already having. I think we've all been there. I used to be really good about that. And then there have been times that I've purchased something that I already owned. So I do have this. So I'm going to do a giveaway at the end of this video. It'll be in my blog post. So I will do a giveaway of these great things because Michelle said, if I already had it, like to do a giveaway. So thank you to Michelle for this um, great little giveaway. Really appreciate it. So I'm gonna set that aside so I remember to do that. And then we've got this one from, yeah, Cheryl G. All galaxy and fabulous and shimmery. You guys know I like the shimmer. So pretty. I like just like the black and the dark. Really fun, really fun. So that one. And then this one from Lindsay, and I had to include the envelope, I covered her address there. But I just, so pretty. Oh, and that was the other reason why I wanted to include it. She used a wax seal. These have been making, I guess a comeback, cause like wax seals have been around for hundreds of years. But I've been seeing them more and more in the craft world, like more and more stampers using them because you can get like the supplies. And it just, I don't know what it is about wax seals, but they just intrigue me. I am so tempted to get some, you know, wax and whatnot and a couple of seals. I love the snowflake one because it just, I can't explain it. It gives something. And I had to open the card on the side because I didn't want to break the wax seal. I just love it. I think it's so, so cool. So 
I had to I had to show that off so really cool and then this absolutely gorgeous background that is fabulous and adorable and everything so love that and then we have this great square card from Carolyn and the cool thing about this one is it is completely flat but just this stamp and everything it just it looks dimensional and yet it is as flat as flat could be you can mail so many of these so easily so I really liked that it was really neat I love the gold gold and craft and red oh, love have that one and then this one from another Lorraine love the size of this this is like a big this is a big card this is, is it a five by seven yeah five by seven so for those of us that always make you know the standard a2 size like this is the size i make most of the time and then that's what a five by seven so it's gorgeous green glitter and shimmer and beautifulness just fabulous so thank you so much lorraine and then we've got this cute one from sally b i love this scene you've created i love the glittering snow glitter i always love glitter so yeah really cute like just cute love so that and then this one did not have a name on it so i'm not sure it's i know it's from ontario but there wasn't a name so really cute love the gloss on the coffee cup and of course anything coffee themed i'm always like yes yes please so really cute and yeah um there's a little note but oh there we go sandra sandra if i just seen looked at the on the back of your sticky note <laughs> so this is from sandra thank you sandra so that one and then we have this one from i'm not sure if it's kiki or ricky in germany it's hard to tell just the way you sign your name i'm like eh, it could be an r it could be a k i think it's ricky or ricky ricky so a great big square card it's very like kind of mixed media looking and all these like die cut elements and even some like jute sort of fabric so really cool and this is from germany it always blows my mind when international people the amount of international people that watch my videos so and then this adorable one from carol and this is actually the first a2 size card she's made it says i think that's really fun and yeah it looks textured but it's just pattern paper so really cute so cute love got that one and then oh dear i don't have sticky notes on these ones oh crap is there a name in these and there's not okay i don't have I'm not sure what happened to the sticky notes I'm sorry so hopefully whoever made these will recognize and you can post um, in the comments below but these great little scenes coordinating envelope I really like how I did the flap of the envelope to like match and then there's this great coffee one these are all honeybee images and then has a little like tea bag on the back of the, the envelope i really like how you colored it that kind of scribbly look um i like the scribbly look i would never i would have so much such a hard time doing something like that because i'm so ocd but i really like it like it just gives it something you know just i like it so and then the last one was this awesome sparkle and shine one really fun really fun love that so again i really i don't know what happened to the sticky note i had every i would label everything with everyone's names Stubbs design is all that was on the back of them so i'm sorry so please comment with your name so that i know who these came from it's so fun i like the gloss on that too so those and then okay We've got this one this is from natalie in australia and another really like fun large card this card is huge it's 
just over eight inches by four and a half. So all this dimension and sparkle, isn't that neat? So neat. And then like even the envelope masked off the center. So it's not glittery. And this is um, glitter embossing powder. I'm almost 100% positive, but I love how you mask that off so you can write to the recipient. That is so cool. So cool. And these cute little uh, colored googly eyes with eyelashes. It's so fun. Thank you. So yeah, that was from Natalie in Australia. And then I've got this fun one from Tasha. Really cute, glittery Christmas stockings. And then I love the envelope, of course. It was personalized to me. I like that. <laughs> and it all was just so pretty. So we got that. And then this one from Sabine. I really, really like how you inlaid the die cut. I know this is an MFT one. I use that in my Christmas series. I like how you inlaid it and had die cut it from this layer and popped this layer up. I just, it gave it something else. I never would have thought to do something like that. So I think that's really cool. And then it's all, there's like a snowflake embossing on there too. So pretty. So pretty. I love. So thank you. And then we've got this one from Kelly. This is her first shape card and she said it's coffee themed so she had to send it to me. This is the um, honeybee coffee dye. Love, love. I like how you stamped on the back and created a background with those stamps. Again, those are all honeybee as well. Mondays, uh, yes. I got this on a Monday and I remember opening it up and I was like, how perfect is that? Cause it was a rotten Monday on top of all of it. So thank you. This is really cute, don't give up. Yes. Love that, love that. So thank you, Kelly. And then this really neat one from Patsy. This is, you know, fabric or like lace wrapped around cardstock. Really neat, like the texture is so cool. I never think to do things like that. And it's just pretty. So thank you. And then last but certainly not least, this package showed up with all of these little goodies. And same thing, the thoughtfulness of it got to me. So these are from Lise in Austria. Austria, who'd have thunk? And let me get this box out of the way so I can kind of show it all. So these just adorable like coffee bean themed pattern paper, this cute little ornament. There's like little like reindeer kind of pieces in it and a little tag with my name on it. This package. These are for you, your partner, and for the kids. And she, again, she included one for all of the kids, including his. One for him, one for me, and then one for each of the kids. So thank you, Austrian chocolate. Kind of excited, and again, having to keep that hidden for the last little while. And then more fun little um, chocolate lollies. I can't even, I can't even, <laughs> that's really cute. My kids are gonna try and steal this. This really cute pen. I assume this glows in the dark. So yeah, it's adorable. Love it. <laughs> and then these great um, cards with all of this fun dimension. Oh, this guy shifted, that's why he's, there we go. So yeah, all popped up in 3D. And then this one was for December and then one was for November. So it all kind of showed up, you know, late in December here. Very pretty. So much glitter. I love all the glitter paper. Glitter paper for life. And then this adorable shaker card. Very flat and there's like some silver glitter in there and those trees in the background. Like it's just cute. So cute. So thank you. I cannot say it enough to all of you. Thank you. Thank you for just the thoughtfulness. Thank you for taking the time to, you know, send cards for me to showcase. And like I said in the beginning, um, the personal letters, all of that, I read everything, I keep all the letters. People ask me what I do with the cards. Um, I kind of rotate my little display of them down the road when I have a proper like office and I'm not renting where I can put something on the wall. I plan on having like an actual great big display where I can like hang everything that people have sent me and just kind of rotate them out. Right now, I just kind of put a few on display and then I put them in a box and I'll again, rotate them out. But that's what I do. And the ones that are just sent, that are sent completely blank and can be reused, I just package them all up and I give them to people that can use them because I make a ton myself. 
but that's what I do. So, and then the gifts, I, again, a million times not necessary. The ones for my kids, I always, you know, dole them out to the kids and it's always appreciated, but never necessary. You guys just blow me away. I, I had a good cry after all of this. And like I said, I had to get very not emotional <laughs> to be able to film this. It's, it is very overwhelming. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing and thoughtful and I love showing off all this stuff that everyone is making all over the world. It's just great. I really love this crafty corner of the interwebs that I have and I'm glad you guys love to visit and make sure to leave some love to all these amazing creations that everyone has created. So leave comments in the description box below the video or leave comments below the video. I'll have info in the description box. Um, leave comments for everyone and tell them what you think. If you have any questions over like what was, what brand was such and such or whatever, leave those questions below because those that make them see that and they can respond. And yeah, thank you all so, so much. And definitely check out um, my blog post because I'll do this giveaway. So I'll have that in my blog post. That'll be the first link directly below and I'll just do a random little raffle copy giveaway and mail these out to someone. So thank you, Michelle, for those. And like I sound like a broken record, thank you. <laughs> and I will see you all very soon in another video.